Hey guys, this is Adam with Thoroughbred Diesel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video on an SMB cold air intake. The part number on this intake is going to be 75 5028. This is going to be for a 1998 to 2003 7.3 liter power stroke. Uh, you can see nothing really fancy about the box. SMB does stamp the logo on it. Uh, the other four sides of the boxes, uh, three sides of the boxes, I'm sorry, are pretty much the same. Uh, we will draw attention to this one side, which will have the data tag up in the upper corner here. Uh, that's going to have the part number on it, as well as the year fitment as well. So, just going to set this box off to the side. We're going to start pulling parts up and tell you what they are one by one. So first thing we're going to pull out of this box, this is going to be the outlet tube, uh, the first portion. Uh, this actually butts up to the uh, air intake box itself, mounts in there. You can see right there, it's got the mounting hardware part portion. I think you can see that if I can get the light to catch it. Uh, the filter actually mounts up right here, clamps onto this portion as well. Uh, we're going to set this off to the side. Try to keep it from rolling off the table. Next section we're going to get out is actually going to be the air intake box. Um, this intake box is a little more complicated in the way that it sits in vehicles than the other ones are, so we're going to kind of try to explain it. Uh, this actually sits on the driver's side of the vehicle. It sits just like this behind the battery on the driver's side. Um, you're going to have your outlet tube is going to connect right here on this section and come on out. I'm sorry, I did it upside down. Come on out back to the turbo that way. So we're going to leave that sitting there. We're going to reach down and grab the next part out. This kit actually includes a new battery tray as well. So your battery tray, which if you notice on the front of this box, you have two mounting holes right there. And right there for your battery tray. So the battery tray is going to mount right there in the front of it. Lay it right there for an example. Uh, you'll notice your air is coming in from this side over here. You're going to have your plastic lid, which sits in this recessed lip right there. And the last portion of the actual box that we're going to uh, pull out is going to be um, an induction tube of sorts. This is going to act real similar to like uh, the bank's ram air that you see all the time. Uh, it's actually going to force air into the th the uh, the box here um, and it's going to actually mount right there and run up the uh, side of the battery right there so it's going to actually pull air into the kit so you can see how that mounts in. So we're going to sit all this stuff aside. We're giving you a little brief overview of how all that goes together. And the next thing that we're going to pull out is going to be the silicone coupler. You see that right there. Set that over there with the outlet tubes. And this is going to be your actual filter. Uh, before we open it up, I'm going to point out that there is a part number on the outside of this box. Make sure to write this part number down somewhere, uh, memorize it, whatever you have to do. Um, you shouldn't have to replace this filter, but if for some reason you do, it makes it a lot easier if you have the actual part number to the filter. So I'm going to dig right in and just pull this filter out. Set this box over here to the side. And we'll just show you the filter real quick. You can see this filter does already have the clamp on it, so you're good to go there. Um, you can tell by the purple color that this is SMB's cotton oiled filter. Uh, we will point out that there is a dry version of this kit. Um, the components, as far as the battery tray, the box, everything in here is the exact same with the exception of the media that the filter is made of. So instead of this purple color, you would see a white dry material instead. Other than that, everything is the exact same. This video can be applied to both kits. So we'll set the filter aside over here. And we're going to jump right into our hardware kits here. And we're going to pull out the two clamps for the, uh, the one silicone coupler that we have. You'll see those. And this first pack here, you're going to see... Uh, a lot of nuts and bolts. Most of this is going to be uh, mounting hardware for either your battery tray or um, the actual tube over here. Uh, there's also a little bung in here. And that reminds me, I don't think we mentioned this on the box. We're going to pull the box back up. On the back side of the box, 
from the opposite side of the battery tray, you'll notice a little hole right there. That's actually going to be for your filter minder, and that's where that bung in this hardware kit goes as well. So give you a quick close-up of that. And you might notice on all these hardware packs, there is a label on it uh, with a time date and a stamp. Um, this is how SMB verifies that everything in your kit is going to come correctly. They weigh each of these. They have a very specific weight. Uh, if it had one extra washer or one extra screw or one less for that matter, they would know that you wouldn't have the correct amount of hardware in your kit. So you'll see that. This uh, particular hardware kit is just a combination of all the washers and lock washers that this kit requires. And the last pack you can see, which is going to be a series of screws with uh, metal and rubber washers there, uh, this is going to be for your, your plexiglass lid to bolt onto the top of the box there. And then the last pack that we're going to grab out of the box, this is the last thing in the box. Uh, first thing we're going to pull out is the instruction sheet. Uh, and you can see SMB does have step-by-step -step instructions with colored pictures. Uh, a lot of times intakes are one of your first installs that you do, so these colored pictures are very helpful uh, to first-time installers. Uh, if you flip the instruction sheet over on the back, you'll see that it does have an inventory list that breaks down all the pieces and parts that are included in this kit, as well as an exploded view right here with the pieces labeled, so you know exactly where they go. And the next thing that we're going to pull out is the clear plexiglass lid. You'll notice that it does, uh, it is brown in right now. That's because it has a clear, uh, I'm sorry, a brown piece of paper that's over top of it. It's protective. This just peels off, and when you do it, it is a clear plexiglass lid. Uh, you'll notice that the SMB logo is already etched into it, uh, so this is ready to go. And as you can see, it just fits it's flush into that recessed edge right there. The last thing in this kit that we're going to show you is the uh, two decals that this kit comes with, one being the SMB filter decal. And the more important of the two decals is your carb number. So those of you in California or other states that have very strict emissions testing, this is a very helpful sticker for you. Make sure you put that on your truck. So this has been an unboxing video for SMB cold air intake. Part number on this one again is 75-5028. If you have any questions at all, make sure and post them in the comments below. We'll have somebody get to them. You're also more than welcome to call us or email us. Uh, please make sure and like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Uh, thanks for watching.